Rob, finally, let's have a little cricket update from you. I believe the Proteas are in a little bit of trouble and could be saved by the rain. <laughs> yes, against Bangladesh. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's something we probably wouldn't have predicted uh, ahead of the tour, um, but uh, it's, it's been a fairly traumatic tour all round when you consider that uh, we blew the, the ODI series 2-1 from a very good start uh, after Kajisa Rabada had ripped through Bangladesh with 6 mm. for 16. And we also won the, the T20s ahead of that. I didn't get to see very much because I was on leave of the one days, but um, uh, you know, just on paper, a, a, a pretty a real sort of turn up for the books with Bangladesh winning the one day as 2-1. Mm. And what they've done is they, they've sort of transferred that spirit and that momentum into the, the first test. Um, uh, the Proteus to me still look a little bit short of, uh, of, of genuine match practice. It's quite a tall order to go into a test match when you haven't played one for, for some six or seven months, mm. which is the case for the Proteus. Uh, without having played any first class crickets, um, you know, the bowlers uh, haven't really had a chance to get some sort of miles in the legs kind of thing. And it's, it's, that's looked the case. They've bowled with f fairly good discipline. And that's all they've been able to boast at this stage is, is the ability to try and sort of curb <coughs> the damage by Bangladesh. As things stand, Bangladesh uh, uh, opening up quite a formidable first innings lead. But uh, we, you know, we, we're three days down, two to play. And the one bit of relief, if you like, from a South African point of view, um, is that uh, a lot of rain is predicted for the last two days um, of the Test match. I'm quite surprised they've actually had as much play as they have so far. Because when I looked at the, the forecast for the old sort of monsoon season in Bangladesh ahead of the Test, it looked as though every day was going to be quite badly affected. We've had a surprising amount of cricket, but always day four and five look like the worst. And I looked again, and the forecast is absolutely horrendous. Um, and I don't think the Proteas will, will mind too much. Uh, having said that, if we do have a fair amount of play still, um, don't discount that the Proteas are still the world's number one side. And if they bat properly in their second innings, um, you know, uh, there's still the possibility of the cat being put among the pigeons. So we shouldn't get uh, too, too sort of bleak and pessimistic too quickly.